This is the independent practice for 7.4. We're solving equations, multiplication equations. So the first thing I do is I circle my variable. That's what I want to get all by itself. I see what's going on to it. It's 4 times g, so I have to divide it by 4, and i got to do the same to the other side. Now, I do the division. 4 times 4 is 1, so it leaves me with g equals 24 divided by 4 is 6. I'm going to check my answer. 4 times 6 equals 24. It checks out. It's all good. Number 2. I get my variable all by itself. 5 times d, so now I need to do 5 divided by 5 and do that on each side. Losing with d equals 6. Put that in there to check. 5 times 6 equals 30. Good to go. All right, number 3. Circle my variable. It's being times 6, so I divide it by 6, and i got to do both sides divided by 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6 equals 6 divided by 6 is just 1, so it leaves me with E. Then I put 6 in here. 6 times 6 equals 36. It checks out. All good. Let's go to 4. All right, get my x. Divide this by 1.5, and i got to divide this by 1.5. That leaves me with x equals... And on my calculator, I'm going to do 3 divided by 1.5, and it's going to get me 2. Now if I put 2 in here, times 1.5, it gets me 3. It all checks out. Number 5. I'm going through these pretty quick, because if you get the system, then you should know what to do. 2.5 times y, so I'm going to divide it by 2.5. And i got to divide this by 2.5. When I do that, it leaves me with y equals 2. Okay? So now if I put 2 in here, times 2.5. 2.5 times 2 equals 5. And it checks out. All right. Number 6. Here is my variable. I want to get that all by itself. 0. 0.9 times a. So I'm going to do 0. 0.9 divided by 0. 0.9. And then I have to come over here and divide this by 0.9. This leaves me with just a equals uh, 9. Because if I put a 9 here times 0.9, that gets me 8.1. I solved the equation. a equals 9. All right, now we get to go do some word problems. Okay, a jewelry store is selling a set of four pairs of gemstone earrings for $58, including tax. Nev Neva and three of her friends want to buy a set so each could have one pair of earrings. Write and solve a multiplication equation to find out how much each person must pay. So, it's going to be four... Oopsie. Four times something, okay? Four times something is going to equal the total price, which is $58. When I find out what this, what this X is, that'll be how much each person has to pay. So, I want to solve for X. And the way I do that is by dividing this by 4 and divide that by 4. When I do that, it leaves me with X equals... Fourteen fifty. Now, if I put fourteen fifty in here, times it by four, it'll give me fifty-eight dollars. So I checked it; it's all good. Okay, back to solving some equations. Number eight. Ooh, cool. I'm gonna have to make this big. So what we have here is I'm gonna circle the variable b. Now, it's 1 and 3 tenths times b. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to divide this by 1 and 3 tenths, and I'm going to divide this by 1 and 3 tenths. So, the way I do it, this one just becomes 1, 
So it's B equals, now I have this 39 divided by 1 and 3 tenths. I'm going to make this into a fraction like that, and I'm going to make this into a mixed, or an improper, I mean, it, it is a mixed. I want to make it improper. 10 times 1 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So this is going to be 13, 10, this is 39, 1, and it's divided by. Now you got to remember, to divide fractions, you keep, change, change. So I'm going to keep 39 over 1, I'm going to change that to multiplication, and I'm going to change that to 10 over 13. Okay, so now I have 3, 39 times 10 is 390, and 1 times 13 is 13. So B equals 39, 390 divided by 13. Now, let's do that on our calculator, and we get 30 equals B. And then, I could put 30 in here, and if I do 1 and 3 tenths times 30, oopsie, times 30, we'll see what I get. I'm going to make this and do it improper. 13 over 10 times 30 over 1. And that's going to get me 30, 13 times 30 equals 390. And 1 times 10 is 10. And I divide 39 divided by 10 gets me 39, which checks out. So the answer is 30. Lots of work, lots of steps. you got to remember how to divide fractions, how to keep change change, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, let's do number nine. E, I'm isolating. I want to get E. I want to find out what its value is. So it's times one-half. So I'm going to take one-half divided by one-half, and then one-fourth divided by one-half. So... This is going to just leave me with E equals, then I come over here and do 1 fourth divided by 1 half. And the way I multiply that, it's keep, change, change. So I keep this, change this, change this. 1 times 2 equals 2. 4 times 1 equals 4. 2 fourths is the same as 1 half. All right, 1 half. So, I'm going to put this in here, 1 half E, which is 1 half, equals 1 fourth. And let's see, 1 times 1 is 1. Yeah, that works. 2 times 2 is 4. So, it's good, and we are happy. So, the answer is E equals 1 half. Who another fraction. Yay! Make this nice and big. I'm going to circle my variable. Two-fifths times g. So I want to divide this by two-fifths, and I want to divide this by two-fifths. Okay, this gets me g equals three-fifths divided by two-fifths. Keep this. Change this. Change this. Now, 3 times 5 is 15, 5 times 2 is 10, okay, so I get 15 tenths, and if I put this into a mixed, 10 goes into 15 one time, 1 and 5 tenths, and if I reduce my 5 tenths, I get 1 and 1 half. So G equals 1 and 1 half. Now, let's put, let's go back to this 15 tenths. I'm going to do, we'll come down here, 2 fifths times 15 tenths. That should give me 3 fifths. Let's check it out. 2 times 15 is 30. 5 times 10 is 50. 
divide each side by 10. I'm just simplifying it right now. And that gets me 3 fifths, which is what I want. So 1510 is good. And when I take 1510 and put it into a mix, it's 1 and 1 half. Everything checks out. Lots of steps, lots of work. But it's worth it because you get the right answer. Let's go to 11. I think we're just doing 11 here. I don't think we'll do 12. Uh, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. We'll see. I forget what I had on the, the sheet. But here we go. Use the table that shows football data. George Blanda played in the NFL for 26 years. Write and solve an equation to find out how many points he averaged each year. So 26 years times so many points per year equals, let's see, where is he? He's right here, 2002. And then all we have to do is solve for P. And so I divide this by 26 and divide this by 26. Leaves me with P equals 2002 divided by 26 equals 77. So he scored about 77 points per year. I can put this back in by saying 26 times 77, and it will give me 2002. Let's go to the next one. Norm Johnson played in the NFL for 16 years. Write and solve an equation to find how many points he averaged each year. So, same thing. 16 times his points per year equals... Let's see, who are we talking about? Norm? Okay, 1,736. I want to solve for P. So I divide this by 16 and divide this by 16. That gets me P equals 1736 divided by 16 equals 108.5. So he scored more points per year than uh, George did. All right, an average person's heartbeat. Yeah, let's do 12 just for fun. Um, not sure if you did it or not, but it'll be good. Um, an average person heartbeats about 103,680 times a day. Write and solve an equation to find how many times the average person heartbeat in a minute. Okay, so I need to find out how many minutes this is a day. So I need to find out how many minutes are in a day. And the way I do that is I know there's 60 minutes in an hour, and there's 24 hours. So, 1440 minutes per day times some number, because that's how many it'll beat in one minute, equals 103,680. So now I want to solve for x. Because this will get me uh, to find out about how many times the average person heart beats in one minute. I've taken it from a day, uh, over 100,000 times a day, this 1440 is how many uh, minutes are in a day. And what i got to do is solve for x. So 1440 divided by 1440, and 103,000 divided by 1440. So this is going to give me x equals, use my calculator, 103, 680, divided by 1440, and it gets me 72. So 72 beats minute. Okay, then I want to check it out. Okay, so if it's 72 beats in one minute, um, so I take it from minutes to an hour, so 72, 72 beats a minute, how many minutes in an hour? I'm going to do that times 60. 
72 times 60 equals 4,020. That's in one hour. But now I want it per day. And so it's 4320 times 24 hours equals 4320 times 24 equals 103680, which is what it already told me. Okay, so I figured it out correctly that this is 72 beats per minute. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully you did pretty well on this. Hopefully you're understanding it. And you can go on to uh, the extra practice after I check the, uh, the sheet to make sure you're, you're all good.